I was going on Sunday morning. I'm in my my smoking jacket. <laughs> Why? Uh, it's a special, special day. I like how you say day. We should start having the Wisconsin um, quote uh, uh, segment. Day. Mm. Wisconsin Laga segment of the week. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, it's what great. happened to the music? What? It didn't play? It's very, very jumbled and faint. Oh. Right there, already, already. Really, crunched. right, right, right out of the shoot. Dad, right, right out of the shoot. Hey, right out of the shoot. Look at what it. The heck, it's Matt for us, Matt. We we really are um, uh, just uh, grateful that you swiveled with us today. Can we say why we wanted you to swivel? Yeah, I'm super it's excited. Very swiveled. Day. Swivel Tell him why. Tell him why you swiveled today. I swiveled because I sold one property at the beginning of last week, but I sold two in the last 48 hours, and I'm new at this. So I'm pouring a cocktail right now. Nice. Woo-hoo. Why awesome. not have an old-fashioned at 11 o'clock in the morning? I see no reason why not to. Hey, it's a, it's a Patriots game day. You're good. This is what you normally do. Yeah, every, every weekend, no doubt. Yes. So, hey, uh, Matt, congratulations. That is, that is phenomenal. It has to, be, has to be kind of a, well, it's a, it's a very freeing feeling, right? Uh, it is. Shoulders. Yeah, yeah. I was, uh, I mean, I sold a couple of properties wholesale to some other land geekers, which I maintain doesn't count. But um, yeah, I actually took it all the way through the pro- all the way through the process. I had a guy back out and then I resold that land and then I sold another one and I got a couple of people interested in my last lot. So I might just have nothing else by the end of the day so oh, it'd be That's great awesome. so That's props awesome to Tate job. for making me do all this uh black friday nonsense and to my wife for actually doing it <laughs> that, that's amazing good job dude so why are we here mike who are we why are we here we are the uh uh lynn uh, nightcap with lady guys but it's sunday because we know we have black friday we have uh what's it uh Cyber monday Cyber Monday, Small Business Tuesday. Actually, I was wrong. It's Small Business Saturday. You know, I Saturday. thought that when I saw I saw something posted by my Matt, and it was talking about the Saturday. So it's okay. It even makes it better. So we're, we think it's Sunday, right? We'll come in. We'll do a little brunch get together, answer some questions. And are we supposed to be having some drinks today? Yeah, we're at, we are having a uh, Bloody Mary special. I'm really hungry looking at mine. Mm. Yeah, me too. You ready yeah, to me. reveal? Yes, it's, it's a reveal. It, <laughs> It's a it's a nightcap reveal. The nightcap reveal. Are we? Uh, that's that's my Bloody Mary. My <laughs> Bloody Mary is made out of bourbon. I don't know what you I people. Love it. I love it. I love it. All right, oh. Scott. I'm bringing mine out. Oh, let's what do you, it. Let's see it, boys. Mike. Oh, there we go. I just want to make sure we got the. Uh... Okay, I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Da 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 da. da, da. <laughs> That is a lot of breaded food, dude. Is that a stick of butter? What is <laughs> happening in there? Oh my God, look at God, that. Is that butter or is that cheese? That's awesome. Wow. That is Wisconsin cheese. <laughs> that is I love with my pack is cheese head. A, a leftover turkey sandwich. <laughs> some celery. <laughs> uh, chicken wing. Olives. <laughs> Got the pickle. Oh, do, 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 do. there's a pickle. Oh, look at that thing. Look at look at it's like an alien. It's like a what is that? Oh, I got, got a two pickle on there. Is that the Christmas pickle? Is that is that what's going? Is that a different kind of pickle? Do we I don't need know. to? And I got some brisket. You know, this isn't ten thirty at night, boys. This is a family show. Mozzarella sticks, pancakes, waffles, chicken. Chicken and waffles. Is that a McDonald's uh, potato? It is. <laughs> potato. <laughs> I think it is. Let me see if it tastes like a McDonald's one. Because look at this. Oh. This is talk about a kid's lollipop. That is awesome. Well, hey, I am impressed with your Bloody Mary. I'm impressed with yours. Do you have the salt around the rim? No. I got the bacon-flavored salt around the rim. <laughs> <laughs> that is the greatest thing I have ever heard of in my entire life. Bacon <laughs> salt. This is awesome. I'm, I, I'm impressed by you, Bloody Mary, but I have to say, those three sales in one week, that's impressive. That is, that is very impressive, Matt. 
I am I am impressed. It's much more impressive than my Bloody Mary. Now, mm. as Mark Podolsky says, it's time to rinse and repeat. Yes. Right. Yes. More. Oh. I want more. What? Oh my God. Did you see what Laura posted? No. Laura made one for both of us, but she brought mine up, but she said my dog ate mine when I brought Mike his. Oh no. That is the type of dog we have. <laughs> He just ate her whole Bloody Mary. <laughs> Great. That is not good. I had my dog uh, take out about 20 beers from my fridge one time and, and bite into them and drink the beer. All 20. We came home and there's just beer cans all over the yard. My wife was like, what have you been doing? I'm like, I don't know. Nothing. <laughs> so uh, if anybody has pictures of their own Bloody Mary, please share. Do we have any viewers? I mean, we it's got, early. We got Tal Freiburgs is watching. Yeah. Laura Zeno is watching. Uh, I feel well, guilty now, right now. I feel guilty. Watching, hey, I want to give a shout out also to Barbara Thibodeau because she had her, I think her first sale this week. So she, she was very excited. To get That's that awesome. Over with. Hell yeah. So it's hard to eat and do nightcap at the same time. Yeah, and I feel bad eating mine now that Laura's got uh, eaten by the... Uh, Why don't we get Laura up here and do a special guest segment and, uh, you know... I don't know Laura. if she's prepared. Laura. Laura, you're invited up. Say hello. Laura. Come on up. So, should we talk about... Oh, wait. One last thing. Yes. Do you have a beer chaser? Oh. <laughs> no, I got a coffee chaser. That. It's a beer chaser. That's big here in Wisconsin. Do you have those out east? Uh, no, we don't have a beer. Well, um, I guess, yes. But I'm no, we just it. drink the beer. I mean, what, 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 what do you chase a beer with a beer? Are we in college? What's happening right now? <laughs> no, no you, chase the, you chase the Bloody Mary with the beer. Really? Yeah. You've never heard of that? It's like um, the, no. the water back, whatever you call that. You, you, you know, you want to you wash down the spicy with some... With some beer. Nice. Scott? I like how that works. Can I ask you a question, Scott? Yes, please. I'd like to know, is there anything you're grateful for this week? This is a this is this is Thanksgiving. This is the week of thankfulness. Anything? Yeah, uh, that you you know, I mean it, obviously there's lots of things we're thankful for, but oh um, yeah. I mean, this is my favorite holiday. And I I uh I've been thinking about a lot of things this week. I mean, I'm thankful for so many things. Um, the The crazy thing is like, this is the first Thanksgiving where I could go shopping on a Wednesday with my son during the day and just go get groceries and then uh, come home and not be hurried to get that whole process done. It was, it was awesome. It was, it was a really nice. You're talking about the freedom from not having to work the full-time job. Exactly. I'm talking about the freedom that comes with it and, and how amazing that felt. Uh, to be able to go through this Thanksgiving process with ease, because a lot of times you're hurried, you're stressed to get all the food made, uh, you know, stressed to get the house clean, that type of thing. But it's, it was just nice to have that time and that added freedom and more time with my kids, because I'm used to normally, sometimes I would actually work on Thanksgiving, as I know you, Mike, and right. would, and, and sometimes I work the day after Thanksgiving. So right. this is just, it's been a phenomenal week in that regard because uh, it's just been been really nice to kind of take it all in and take it easy. And I have land investing in this community to thank for it, so. That's awesome. You know, uh, I'm, I feel the same way. I, this, this business really can lighten up your life in terms of take away that stress load, right? When you can have uh, passive income that comes up and, and meets or exceeds your fixed expenses, I mean, we t here's the thing: we we have we had uh, Scott uh, Todd the other night on our open lounge there, and he was dropping the mic left and right, and he's just making a crazy amount of money in this business. He's a stallion when it comes to this business. There's no way around it. The guy's phenomenal. Uh, I definitely, that's why I, I won't say my favorite quote again. I always say it. I won't. But the re the reality is that you know that he inspires people to better you know. To more success right but here's the thing look at it at a micro level i always tell people what happens when your fixed expenses and you meet or exceed them with your passive income right that moves the needle right a thousand dollars a month passive income 
can move the needle. That's a car payment. That's some bills that you have now taken care of for, and that's $12,000 a year, 120,000 over 10 years. Let's bump it up to 3000. Right now you're at $36,000 a year um, coming in from one-time transactions and you're now exceeding or, you know, your fixed expenses and you just, it, and a micro level, this business is still insane. You know, we talk about these high numbers because that's income replacement. Well, let's talk about stress replacement, right? So you've got income replacement on the far scale, but let's go all the way to the other side, stress relief, re stress replacement with lightness of just, you know, knowing that these bills are all taken care of that, you know, so that let's talk about the small wins, right, Scott? Oh, exactly. I mean, <clears throat> We, we had something really cool the other night. Uh, we, we called it the Land Geek Lounge. And for three hours, you and I hung out in this group. And we had people come on who had never gotten a toolkit or never been in flight school. And Scott Todd shows up. And we, we sat there for three hours and talked land investing. It was phenomenal. And one of the things that uh, we talked about was was those those small wins in the beginning, right? Yeah, and, we, had, we had him on there oh, dropping the bomb. What's that? He was just dropping the mic. He was awesome. Scott, Scott Todd was dropping the mic. But... But we, uh, you know, I, I said to Scott, you know, Scott, do you remember that? Do you remember three years ago when I was uh, so excited about $700 a month passive income? I mean, at that time, that was just huge in our lives because you're exactly right. It decreased stress in our lives and we were feeling more security as a result of it. And when you think about it, it's, it's really, it's a stable payment it's a stable business because you know you have that payment coming in next month 90 percent of the time right no it's 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 so true uh, this this it does proof of concept number one when you get that first scott was talking about when he made his first sale how excited he was right and he was saying i got a hundred dollars per month and his friends or people he talked to were like yeah hundred dollars a month but he saw what they didn't see this is rinse repeat this is repeatable so you know, fast forward to where he is now, uh, I think that they would take a double take, right? And be like, whoa, but that hundred dollars is so much, I still have the first dollar I ever made, you know, I keep that. It's like, it's proof of concept. If you can make $1, you can make 10, you can make a thousand, you can make 10,000, you make a hundred thousand. It's just rinse, repeat over and over again. And it works really well. So I think that sometimes it's important to recognize, yes, this business can go to an extremely high level of income replacement. You can leave your full-time job, Scott, you know, very well about that, right? You can, you can take this and replace that, but also there's all these other wins along the way. And each, each, as you come closer and closer, the stress is just getting, you know, less and less because money definitely is not everything. Let's not, I mean, really what it is, and you already tied into it, spending time with family, right? You had your son, you went you were able to go shopping, little things, right? But when you have the bills paid from this business, you have more time to do those things. So, that's awesome. Matt, we're keeping you all quiet. I apologize. What do you think? We're talking about little wins. I mean, here you are. You're at the beginning of building this machine, right? And it's it's, it's exciting, isn't it? Exciting, I'm pumped. Isn't it? Proof of concept is huge. I'm pumped. I'll, I'll tell you. So here's my philosophy. And I said this to Scott when I was in uh, flight school, to Scott Todd, right? This is a, to me, this is a two year game, right? This is 104 weeks, right? And, and I have to say, if I didn't have Tate, and you two sort of backing me up, I, you know, I don't know. It's plausible I would have quit because it's, it's tough in the beginning. You know, it really is. But I'm at, you know, whatever. I'm at uh, 350, uh, you know, monthly as of uh, right now. And that's amazing, right? So I know what can happen, right? I look at you guys. With Scott, I look at you, like, actually quitting your job, which is just absurd, right? Um, but, yeah, I mean, I made enough in the last week. I, I could use that to go buy a car I, I wouldn't but this is a long-term you know thing and you just got to shut the haters out and you know and uh and go but I gotta tell you that getting that first deal done getting that guy to sign that contract feeling pretty sweet that's awesome you know and I think you hit upon an important thing right because here's the thing and I, I always talk about this with people with Scott and I the toolkit has everything you need for success it has all the facts about land yeah. investing Unfortunately, what you can't put into a toolkit is execution. You can't put the personal execution into, I don't care if it's a toolkit, like I say, about bodybuilding, about car repair, cooking. You can put all the information there, right? But you can't put the execution. You can't put the elbow grease in there, right? Where somebody has to actually do the business and be held accountable. So I always tell people when it comes to flight school and learning under Scott Todd as a Sherpa, you don't 
need flight school, but you sure as heck probably want it because it's going to keep you on target. If you were left to your own devices, right, and you would just slowly just mail a little bit and just dip your feet in because you're looking for proof of concept. Unfortunately, what most people will do is kind of drift away because it's hard to stay focused on anything in life, especially when you have other things pulling at your attention. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that's what happens to a lot of people. I mean, I, before I bought that, uh, uh, before I went into flight school, I actually sat down with a guy who had bought the toolkit. Like I met, I found him on bigger pockets and we met up and I was like, all right, dude, what is the deal? Who's this guy, Scott Todd, Mark Podolsky. What is that guy all about? And he pulled out two cell phones and he puts them on the bar. Right. And he goes, he goes, that's my cell phone. It almost never rings anymore. It's my personal phone. He goes, that's my land investing phone. Let's just see what happens as we talk. Right. And he was getting calls left and right. He had an intake manager. So like that wasn't about buying property. That was about selling deals. And I'm like, okay, this thing, this thing really does go. But he, he said sort of what you say, Zeno, all the time, which I say to my family probably five days a week now, which is two, three, four years coming either way you're either going to be successful in this side hustle or you're not it's it's up to you and i mean that has become my mantra right um you have a good story for it but i it's forgot like, about that that's you oh know, dude, that's, story scott how did i forget about that was my tai chi tai chi teacher yeah. said, hey how long does it take to good at this tom tim how long to get good at tai chi oh about 10 years i go 10 years 10 years for tai chi that's forever he goes mike 10 years is coming either way. Only difference, you'll be good at Tai Chi or you won't. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. oh, yeah. okay. That's it. Dude, that's my, that's my mantra, right? As long as I cannot start failing at work, right? As long as I can keep work going and keep, you know, my kids going, which is hard because I'm working a lot at night. Like I'm putting a lot of effort into this, right? No, no doubt. But four years, it's coming either way. Right? right. It's, it's going to come. So you know what? I might as well just be at like, I don't know. Twenty thousand dollars a month in passive income, because why not? Because I can. Right? right now, I know it works. Literally doing what you just did over and over again. It's just repeating that. Yeah. Well, it's that's literally it. what it is. Yep. It's time for one of my favorite quotes. I think. All right. Let's hear it. Let's hear it, big dog. So, now this is from this is from a book. It's uh, uh, I I'm blanking on it right now, but it's but it's a really great book about automating, delegating, uh, eliminating, and. Uh, there, there's a quote in that book and it, go, it says uh, double time part time for full time free time. And that's where you are right now, Matt, you are working. More, double more, time. Back it up one more time for the people who uh, started drinking before the show came on. Cause they were so excited. I have this written in my, <laughs> I have this written in my office. It says double time, part time. So you're working double time right now. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, double time, part time for full time, free time. Oh, that's good. So you those that's four funny. years down the road, yeah, is when your full time, free time occurs. But right. that that quote is kind of a visionary quote for me, and I, I think about that all the time. Right? It's prophetic. Especially, what's that? Prophetic. It's prophetic. Yes, it is prophetic. Is that the right way to say that? Yeah, it's a good word, Zeno. Really prophetic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna look that up. <laughs> Pretty sure you said pathetic in the beginning, and I'm like, dude, he's right there. That guy can hear you. <laughs> yeah, he can. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Oh, prophetic. It's like prophecy. Bosman, that crap you have on the wall is pathetic, bro. No, no, it's uh, not pathetic. Oh yeah, <laughs> bring it up, boys. Bring it up. All yeah, the people like, at home. Come Tal on. Said I can't try quite drink it like Tal said without sure. popping my eyeball out. You got yeah, a whole thing on there. You, you need a big straw. Lego my ego. Look at him. All right. <laughs> I do have a straw though, so I can. But that, you know, that's, I think the people who watch this show who have never done a deal, who don't know what they want to do. Right. I mean, that's a part I think that they have to understand. I mean, it's coming either way. Right. Right. You might as well put the effort <laughs> in now. I mean, I, as I said to Mike, before we started today, like I am spending five hours, spent about five hours in the last uh, 24 hours getting my contract the way that I want it to be so that I can click a button and in, in like, you know, 25 seconds, have it go out the door exactly the way I want. Happy to do it. Right. I don't know if there's any, you guys watch this old house. Cause I know you probably oh, yes. watched that years ago. All right, so I, so I'm building a house right now. So like all of a sudden I start, I caught it the other day and I'm like, Oh, that's really relevant. I should, I should watch this every day. And, um, 
Tom Silva, who's like their big master carpenter guy, he said, look, if you're ever going to cut more than three pieces of wood, you got to go build a jig, right? Go build a jig. It'll save you time. So if you got to go 10 pieces, you build a jig. If it's three or more, you build a jig. And as my son was like, what are you doing downstairs? You've been, you've been down there since seven o'clock this morning. This is this morning. And I said, I'm building a jig. I'm going to spend four hours. I'm building a jig. And he's like, I don't understand. I sold him the whole thing and he still went, I have no idea. But that's what this business is, right? You're building a jig because you're going to rinse and repeat. You're going to do it over and over. I love that. Can I say this then? Get jiggy with it. (laughs) 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 Oh, my gosh. I love the big analogy. I love that, man. Yeah. That's, a, that's amazing. That's an amazing analogy. Well, that's true, right? I mean, that, isn't that what we do with, with you, know, uh, you know, getting VAs and Dell? I mean, it takes time, right? right. It takes it time, time to train to those create guys. the training videos. It yeah. takes time to create some of the, you know, if you're making some changes to your paperwork. Now, it's already done for you in LG Pass, but as you go on, you tweak things if you want, right? You got to tweak things to how you need them in your particular business. Yeah. Um, and it takes time to tweak. It takes time to jig. And uh, well, you know, you, you get the jig built. Right. And then the next thing is you're going to get the person to make the cuts. Right. You're going to come in and say, hey, this is how you measure. Yep. This is how you place the wood. This is how you work the saw. And now when I say I need something, it's done. Right. You got the person in there. So it's really yeah, it's a, it's a, it's that process identical. That's perfect. I love it. So. What else should we talk about on this brunch date that we all have together here? You know, it was cool until you called it a date. Now I'm just a little uncomfortable. <laughs> I need an adult. Let's let's talk about a uh, pretty informal uh, episode today. But let's, you know, let's just talk about a little bit about what we're thankful for in this business. So right. here's, here's some things that I'm thankful for in this business. The massive market, mm. the, the crazy returns. The, the stability of my portfolio, my land portfolio, the, the community that I belong to. And that's another thing I thought about this week a lot, Mike, is because you and I were talking about this earlier this week, is how when you surround yourself with other people who have set very high goals for themselves and who have very special gifts it's, it's like that quote, I don't remember who said it, but you are the average of the five people you hang out with most, right? You, you, you lift yourself up when you hang out with a group of people like this. So, so true. So look at the five people that you and I surround ourselves by, Scott. We have Mark Podolsky, right? We have Scott Todd. We have Tate Litchfield. We have uh, Eric Peterson and Mimi Schmidt, right? Look at the five people that you and I surround ourselves by. Mentally puts you in the game. This is the new mindset that you have. Um, you know, a lot of people when they come into this business may initially, you know, think, let me go talk to some of my friends to get their input. It could be very counterproductive because this is a very small niche. And if you go to somebody and say, I'm going to invest in land in Arizona, Nevada, New Mexico, Florida, Texas, I'm never going to go visit it. I'm just going to buy it and sell it to somebody else to pay me a month. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to do exactly what Matt's doing right now. Really? Oh, Good yeah. luck with that. It'd be like what people said to Scott Todd. You, you made $100 a month. Great. $100 a month. They don't see the, 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 the whole vision, right? Surround yourself with people who see the vision. And here's the beauty of this. You and me and Matt Forbes and Mark and Scott and Eric and Tate and Mimi, we are regular people. We are just... We are just like everybody else in this group who have goals, who have been working hard. So, so when we say, you know, surround yourself with people uh, to, to make yourself better, you can find that in your own flight school group, for instance. There are people yep. that are in flight school who are going through this group coaching program who maintain and grow healthy, long relationships over time. And the, yeah, Matt Forbes is one of them. They, I mean, they connect, they, they network, they do deals together. Matt, you help somebody else address their pain point. They help you address your pain point. It's this beautiful onward cycle that goes forward. All right, I'm going next because I got, I got a couple things. Uh, number one, I'm pretty thankful that this niche is 
so boring that people give up. I right. love it. I love that fact. It's not hard. It's not complicated. It's not easy, but it's not complicated. It's consistent. Right? And it's boring. So people give up, which I love. All I got to do is do it longer than them. Right. And I'm, and I know I'm going to be successful. <laughs> um, but the other thing you said, community, um, number one, the tur- the first two parcels that didn't count that I sold, I sold to a land geek guy that I met at boot camp, And I sat down and said, Hey, this is the problem I'm having. And he said, you know, I'll buy those. And I, I initially was like, no, I don't, I want to sell them. And, you know, luckily I had everybody else go, you're an idiot. You just said, it's your problem. Just sell them. And I did. And I'm, I'm thankful for that guy. But then also Jeff Pierce, big shout out to Jeff Pierce. I had a, I had a guy on the hook for a piece of land that he didn't want. That was mine. But Jeff and I talked at, uh, at uh, boot camp, and we hung out a little while. And I go, you know, Jeff has the perfect, the perfect one. So I, I uh, got together with him and said, hey, look, I got the great, a great buyer. And he goes, well, I really want to – that's the first piece of property I bought. I really want to sell it. And I said, okay. I mean, look, I, I got a guy, and, uh, you know, you go sell it. And he goes, you know what? You haven't done a deal. I will, I'll wholesale to you for what I bought it for. No big deal. You go get your first deal. Wow. That's a guy who could be rocking a hundred dollars a month for the next four or five years. Who is who literally did that out of the goodness of his heart. I mean, that's, that's why he did that's that. Amazing. That was, a, I mean, where do you see that? Where do you get guys being like, I'll take money out of my pocket to give to you. Right. So that you're successful. I dare you to go find that somewhere else. It just doesn't happen. So Jeff Pierce, you rock. That's I love a phenomenal you. story, dude. That's awesome. Yeah. I have uh this. Can you hear it? A little bit. You got to turn that up. Yeah. Everyday it's people. It's everyday people. That's what we are. Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, there it goes. The Dear Friends Is this a musical? <laughs> no, we. Are. I think it's important to recognize you're right. There's nothing. When I first came to this business, I went over to my friend Jeff's house and I. I sat and I watched him. He's like, you got to meet this Mark Podolsky guy. I'm like, all right, well, I'm 40 grand debt. He's like, trust me, come on my house. And he's doing about five or 6,000 a month passive at the time. And I'm watching him. I'm like, this is real. This is crazy. And he's a regular guy, you know, and, and I'm watching him. He's another firefighter and I'm watching him do this. And that's empowering when you see somebody that's relatable that can do this business. So uh, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah I mean, we're, and, all, we're all relatable in this business. Uh, every single one of us, and we we all bring our own gifts. Relatable, but not related. And we can all shuffle paper. Shuffle paper. I'm tremendous at it. Well, I'm thinking <laughs> all these new songs for our next. Uh, are we are we going to have another one out of those? Aren't we? Because I'm. Oh yeah, I think this yeah, game is yeah. a great. It's a musical. Great, uh, yes. Yeah. Oh God, I'm busy about that. Geek <laughs> shuffle. We got the lane geek. We got the nightcap Jeopardy coming up too. I'm about ready to go strangle my dog. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. He just, but uh, we yeah, can't hear your dog. Or about it. well, I can. Yeah. He's he's somebody he's, call Peta. First thing, Peta on the phone. <laughs> yeah, right. He just so, yeah, loves you. Nightcap Jeopardy. Yeah, we're gonna have a nightcap Jeopardy show. You'll have some heavy involvement in that, Matt Forbes. You just don't know it yet. <sighs> what is the S words for a thousand Trebek? <laughs> hey, come on. <laughs> You're definitely on the show now. Yes. <laughs> you are the host. You will be dressing up as that. S words for 300, sir. And stop talking about my mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that, Scott. Oh, man. So, Scott, I think, um, I don't know, it's a short and sweet episode. Is there anything else we want to cover? We basically wanted to come out and be thankful to everybody in the community uh, and show off our audacious, is that the right word, drinks? Audacious is a good word, uh, yes. Audacious is good. It's a good screenshot. Our our full and look at that. Look at oh, and I didn't even I didn't even uh, feature the mug. The mug spelled in inappropriately. No. Hey, you got your mug too. There it is. Nice. Must, must be nice, fellas, to have a nice mug, huh? Look at those. Boy, do they look lovely. I think you may have earned your mug today. Yes, I think that happens when you get three. I don't need one. I always drink like real alcohol, not not beer or whatever you you two people drink. Don't worry. When about you it. get uh, three sales in one week. You can have the water chaser in there. Yeah. yeah okay. Why would I do that? But okay. <laughs> All yeah. right. What do you think, Scott? Time to go and eat our eat our Bloody Marys. 
Yeah, I, I'm. I've been munching a little bit. My I feel mouth is watering. I need to eat this. <laughs> Matt, I have to say good job. Good job to everybody else. I think a lot of people had some good success this week uh, in the land business. We had a couple sales and I know Zeno, you sell all the time. So um, yeah, I think it's a, it's a good time of year for land investing and uh, it, you know, just, just keep, keep turning forward hour to a day. You're yeah, good. Set some micro goals, hit the micro goals on your way to the macro ones. Don't, don't judge yourself and Hey, I'm, I'm not a success till I do 10 K a month. Don't, don't put that kind of pressure on yourself. Celebrate the small goals, you know, pay a bill at a time with each land deal. And, and that should empower you, right? One bill gone, another bill gone, another bill gone. And just look at it that way. Those micro, uh, you know, wins that are going to build up, you know, like I always say, perfect a business in the micro and blow it up in the macro. That's it. Another quote. Another quote from the Zen master. We got to start writing these down. You're going to have a, you're going to have a quote book someday. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe an ebook. Bob's a quote book. Maybe an ebook. <laughs> an ebook. Zeno's ebook to to uh, to quotable quotes. <laughs> All right, Scott. Can you give us a Thanksgiving toast? Oh yeah. Do the outro. Well, is yeah. Let's do the sandwich outro. on there. Uh, what? Can we? Is there like a what was that? Like a ham and cheese? That's a barnyard. Where did that come from? It's called a barnyard. <laughs> Did he just stick it in there? That wasn't in there in the beginning, Bosman. I no, think he just snuck that in. That barnyard's sandwich. been there the whole time. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, yeah, I'm I don't pretty know. sure that's what my dog ate off my wife's strike, the barnyard. He wouldn't have gone. Well, what the, is the barnyard? Uh, shrimp. He probably went right for the barnyard. It's the it's easy ski slope. And, and every other kind of meat in it. You got some, you got like, what kind of meat on it? Ham, sausage, and bacon. Ham, sausage, and bacon. What was that, Laura? Ham, sausage, and bacon. See? I knew we'd get her on the show. I knew, <laughs> I knew it. I'm gonna have to share mine with her. It's just a dog ate no, hers. No, I don't want it. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's uh, let's just make an easy toast to, to this community because it's changed our lives and uh, it's a massive action. Yeah. It's a massive Good. action. Taking action. Amen. Yes. Prost. Can you see the screen? I'm gonna turn it up. Hopefully, it's not jumbled this time. Can you see it? Here we go. So. Yeah. Matt, this is where you do the reverse swivel. I, I look, guys, I don't really swivel. I'm uh, pretty overweight. Uh, I, just, I just stay here and drink. You can just sway. I Let's live in a van down by the river. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Celebrate Later, small wins, right, Scott? Celebrate small bad. wins, exactly. I'm thankful, so, you guys. Thankful for you, dude. That's cute. Mom and dad. I'm so cute. We're all doing the head bobble. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm.